Hello everyone. I've got a prophetic word for you here at the end of the year of 2021. It's time to close it down. It's time to wrap it up. It's time to come into that place and that position with the Lord where we have reviewed 2021. Yes, I want you to take a good look back from January 1st, 2021, all the way here to this time. It's a time to reevaluate. You need to take moments, special moments to spend with the Lord, get out your journal, and begin to start focusing on what happened this year. The good, the bad, the beautiful, the ugly, the tears, the joy. Take a look at every season that happened during this year because God is getting you ready for 2022. And if there's been pain, if there's been trauma, if there's been intense difficulties, you can't carry that in to 2022. See, trauma destroys our our vision, the vision that God has given us for the future. And Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 says, write down the vision and make it plain so that a herald can run with it. How can we write the new vision if we haven't taken a look at this past year? I know God's been stirring things on the inside of you, creative ideas. That month of December, there was really just a breakout of creative ideas. The supernatural just opened upon us. And that does happen in December because we're celebrating the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. We're positioning ourselves for uh, festivals and feasts and rejoicing. And the Spirit of the Lord is always present during those times because we're putting God uh, in that place of remembering uh, who He is and what He's done for us. The angels come and gather around us. So it's a time where we felt the glory and the laughter and the joy of the Lord. Maybe for some of you, it's been very, very difficult. Maybe it's been very grievous. Maybe it's been very painful. And and even in that, knowing and, and that, that uh Father God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to be the one and only sacrifice for our sins, to reconcile us unto Him, is the hope and the message of the world uh, today. Jesus is the hope of the world, and His churches are the hope of the world. And so as we position ourselves for 2022, we need to look at this year. Now, I don't want your trauma, any trauma that you experience, to go with you into 2022. So I want to walk you through a process here where we pray together because I want you to release that trauma. Listen, no matter what has happened to you uh, this year, be it good and beautiful or be it ugly and, and difficult, the Lord was with you through the entire process. And so I want to uh, read a scripture uh, to you to, to help prepare you for 20. Uh, 22, and that's Psalm chapter 1, uh, verses 2 and 3. The way we get through things is to meditate on the Word of God. If you want to see soul transformation, you have to allow the Word of God to soak into your soul. So you have to take time, be with the Lord, and allow God to just speak to you and speak to your heart about what are the areas that hurt, okay? So, so take some time to sit in those places and ask Him what hurts, because if it hurts, He's going to heal it, because He's the healer. So in Psalm chapter 1, verse 2, he says, Delight in the law of the Lord, and in His law we who are righteous will meditate day and night. So the Lord wants you to meditate on His word day and night. And then he says, And you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in his season, and his leaf shall not wither, and whatever you do, you shall prosper. That word prosper is a, is a Hebrew word that actually means to push forward, to break out, uh, to go over, um, to be profitable, to be prosperous, which is an element of who God is. He is a prosperous God. And so when we meditate on the Word of God, we position ourselves for prosperity. And so I just want to encourage you that as you're dealing with trauma, as you're dealing with difficulties of 2021, sicknesses, illnesses, um, loss of finances, whatever these difficulties are, just know this, that the Lord wants you to work through this. And, and I believe it's going to do a fast work. And that's why I'm going to pray for you. We're going to do a fast work this week so that you can get cleaned out and you can get ready for 2022. And so, Lord, I just praise you and I thank you right now for my friend who's watching. And I thank you, Father, that you're covering them, Lord Jesus. You're washing them in the Word of God. You want them to learn to meditate on your Word day and night. But, Father, my friend has had a difficult year of 2021. And I just ask you, Lord, just around them now with your glory with your presence. Just sit in his presence right now and just receive from him. Lord, I thank you. 
I thank you right now, Father. We're receiving from you, receiving your love. Just receive God's love. And even if you were in a space and a place where you felt like he didn't love you because of the difficulties that you went through, I just want to encourage you right now. He does love you, and he is covering you in his love right now. Father, I thank you. You've dispatched angels, Father. You are depositing in the room right now your love for those that are watching, Father. And we just break those strongholds over those who are watching over their lives right now, fear, anxiety, depression, loss, grief, the suffering that you've been through, we break that off right now. Let the joy of the Lord come right into where you're at. Father, I thank you. Let that joy of the Lord just come right where you're at right now. I just begin to allow the Lord's joy to come forward. Father, I thank you for your joy right now. I think your joy is just surrounding us. I thank you, Father. You are so good, Lord. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for your peace. We thank you, Father, that all things have been redeemed. The worst of 2021 has been redeemed deemed everything that was broken you became broken that it should be made whole. And so, Father, I thank you, Lord. Cause the eyes of my friend to become whole right now. May the eyes of their heart become enlightened, Lord, as the Apostle Paul asked. And may the, their eyes that they see with become brighter, become open, so that they can see you and see your beauty and see your prosperity, Father. And I thank you, Lord, that as they wash themselves in the Word of God this week, as they position themselves for the new Gregorian calendar year of 2022, Father, Father, I thank you, Lord, that you are bringing about blessings, Father. You are a God of blessing. You are a God of prosperity. You are a God of resources, and you're bringing resources for the new vision. I ask you, Lord, to open their eyes and give them new vision for 2022. Let all the old pass away. The new has come. I thank you that you're strengthening them. I see more creativity coming from heaven for you. Open up the vats of heaven, Lord. Release the grain, wine, and the oil. We praise you, and we Thank you, Father. We honor you for 2021, the good and the bad, Lord. And we honor you, Father, for 2022, the same. We will praise you, Lord, in our sorrow. And we will praise you, Father, in the great things that happen. And so, Lord, we thank you. I just see that healing power and presence of the Lord overcoming you right now. He's healing you right now in Jesus' name. I just see him touching your heart letting you know that he loves you. I know this is broken right now in Jesus name. Redemption has come to you. Just release it, release it, release it. I feel that right now in the spirit. Just there's a release right now. Whew, in the mighty name of Jesus, there's a release for 2021 for you. All your disappointments, all your sorrows. And Father, I thank you, Lord, that you're going to fill them with your joy and you're going to fill them with your strength and your power. God, I praise you and I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Share this with a friend who needs to come into that place of knowing you more, uh, knowing God more. Um, they, they, we want them to know God in the way that he is a healer and that he is one that can bring about the change. And so, so somebody needs to be healed today. Somebody needs to be healed in 2021 before we step into 2022. Listen, and you're going to be a tree planted by rivers of living water. And you're going to bring forth prosperity in 2022. I declare it and I decree it in the mighty name of Jesus.